Today on the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're going to fix an AC heater blend door on a 2002 F350 4x4 crew cab, long bed, you know, all that stuff. Let's get this thing started. Roadhard Roadhouse is sponsored by Speedy's Industrial Cuttings in Ozark, Missouri. They do media blasting, powder coating, big or small, they do it all. Tell them the Roadhard Roadhouse sent you. Okay, let me show you where this is at. Glove box. Go ahead and pull this out. Same with the other side. And here it is. Right here. Are you going to want to unplug it? Okay. All these wires are in the way, so just be real careful. And what the easiest way I've found to do this. Because I've replaced this thing here, here it is, several times um, with getting them through the junkyard, and I never found one that worked, so I went ahead and bought a new one. So take a small blade screwdriver, flat blade, stick it underneath it. Here's the new one ordered it off eBay. I'll leave the link in the description. Brand new. Well packed. This one's all black. Where the plug goes is white. Of course, the uh, the plug here that goes down into the actuator is white. Let's just get this thing installed and see what it does. All right, if you remember, went in like this. The blend door job doesn't take very much effort. It doesn't take very much effort at all. But what I will show you is this. Here are two blend doors and what you do when you take the original out is you see what position this one is in and then from there this is the one that came out of the truck originally this is the one I bought at a junkyard that did not work you want to check the position of the new one Let's see here so you see how this one's lined up they're not the same. Yeah, what I'm pointing at is that, as well as that bottom one down there. Right there. These two need to end up being the same. <coughs> so what you need to do is, if this was it, you need to think about how you're gonna line this up in order to slip down in that hole. So, this is the original one. This is the position it needs to be in, so it doesn't take very long to do it. This is not at the same position. All right. It's a little bit more. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to put this up in there and crank it 
about this way, right about right there, in order to be at the same position that this one is in. Then it'll slide right down, connect it, and you're done. You're gonna have to rotate that round peg around until it fits in the hole. I want to thank everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. A lot more videos on this big Super Duty. Appreciate everybody once again. And as always, if you're right or hard, don't put her away wet.